petition to help rescue a mom and her daughter after an explosion in Pigtown just days before Thanksgiving nearly ended a 70 year old Marine veteran's life. And after spending weeks in critical condition, Mr. Terry Bagley is enjoying the new year with his family back home out of the hospital. We sat down with WMAR 2 News Kendall Green about his journey to recovery and what sparked his selfless act of courage. I say you're a hero, but I'm, not, I'm no hero. I, I just did what was necessary to do, save, save someone's life. Just two days before Thanksgiving, Terry Bagley heard a mother and her 16-year-old daughter screaming for help, trapped inside of a home that exploded on Bayard Street in Pigtown. I heard people screaming inside. I ran, ran inside the house and grabbed the girl, brought her out. And her mother, when he, when the second time, got, brought her mother out. Then the girl said, my baby is in there. So I went back the third time and I got the baby and brought the baby out. In his act of heroism, Bagley found himself trapped underneath those bricks as the house collapsed. He suffered serious injuries and was rushed to shock trauma. A lot of broken bones, broken, broken femur, got a rod in my leg here. Three cracked ribs, my brain damage, I had my brain was being, and they, they, did, they did a lot of work on me, so I was broken all up, I had a lot of broken bones. The rescue effort didn't come without a cost for Bagley and his family. Dr. Bills and medicine for me, I have to buy a lot of medicines and stuff. I'm, I'm hurting all the time. I hurt, I hurt all the time. But when asking the veteran if he'd do it all over again. Yes, yes I would. I, I believe in helping, helping those. And uh, I didn't, I just, I was by instinct, I don't know, I just went in there. I really don't understand why I did it, but I did it. I've always been a person that liked to help others. And uh, I, I was fortunate enough to save three, three people's lives, especially the baby. Three people living today because of me. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News.